Radio frequency interference. Every ham's best friend. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Now, if you didn't pick up on it, there was a lot of sarcasm in that opening statement because RFI, or radio frequency interference, drives all of us nuts. And I am no exception. I guess it was roughly about uh, two months ago, right before Christmas or so, I started noticing the noise floor starting to creep up in my shack. Uh, and it, it was annoying at first, but it wasn't terrible. And the other thing was it kind of came and went. And I pretty much just assume Christmas lights uh, in the area or in the neighborhood. Um, so I really didn't pay too much attention to it. But after the first of the year, when everybody had taken down their Christmas lights, that noise was still there and it seemed to be getting worse by the day. So I set out trying to figure out exactly what was going on with that, and I just thought you guys might appreciate this story uh, and some of the processes I went through to try to locate uh, the problem and get this solved. So the first thing I did was I set the camera up, and you'll be able to see in this clip how bad the noise was, but I set the camera up and pointed it towards the 705's waterfall, and then I went down to the main breaker in my house and started flipping the circuits. Now, side note here, uh, if you're married, wait until your wife is out uh, for and doing something else. Don't do this while she's at home because she will get really annoyed with you. But anyway, I started uh, flipping through these circuits one at a time until I found the offending circuit. Well, lo and behold, it was in my very own shack. Now, I'm scratching my head a little bit because I don't remember adding anything new recently that would uh, potentially be causing this problem. I do have way more wall warts than I care to admit in the shack, but I have gone through and tried to check those one at a time as I've uh, added them over the years to make sure that it doesn't uh, give me any significant increase in my noise floor. Of course, uh, when you add them all together, yeah, there's uh, some increase in the noise floor, but if uh, I want to operate uh, several of the other devices that's in the shack, it's just part of the trade-off. And hey guys, what is ham radio but a big trade-off? Every time you gain one thing, you seem to lose something else. But back to the story, I figured out that it was in my shack. So next, I took the 705 handheld and started going through, walking around the shack, trying to see if I could figure out uh, an area that this noise was coming from. Now, at this point, I am disconnected from my HF antenna, and even though I'm on an HF band, I'm just running the signal stuff antenna on the side of the 705. And I'm coming over to a TV that is quite old. I simply use it now for a extra display for my main computer workstation. I don't even have TV hooked up to it. But I, every time I come over towards that TV, the noise floor increases. So, okay, I unplug the TV, but that doesn't solve the problem. And I, with the TV unplugged, I put the 705 back up there and the noise still exists. So I'm kind of scratching my head a little bit at this point. But I remember that on the other side of that wall, I've got kind of a weird space in my attic where I can actually get to the back side of that wall. You've got the interior wall, then the exterior wall, and there's basically a catwalk in between them. And back there, I've got a couple of things plugged in uh, just to kind of get them out of the shack and make things a little bit cleaner in here. I've got enough chaos going on as it is. So once again, I set up the camera and I go back into that catwalk area and start unplugging. There's only about three devices plugged up back there. Of course, all of them have a wall wart. Lo and behold, when I unplug the network switch, the noise goes away. So I'm assuming it's a bad wall wart. So I go digging through some of my junk drawer and find a, another uh, wall wart that will work. This runs on uh, 12 volts and it consumes roughly about 1.2 amps. So I've got plenty of those wall warts laying around. I plugged up uh, the wall wart that I was going to replace it with just to verify that I didn't have 
uh, any noise coming off of that one and none was observed. So I went ahead and swapped that out, but as soon as I booted the switch back up, the noise came right back. So that was pretty easy to narrow down. I went ahead and picked up a spare um, network switch. This one is by TP-Link and it's a five port gigabit switch. I'll leave a link to this down in the description below in case you're looking for a uh, network switch at this particular point in time. Once I got that swapped out and put the new network switch in, the noise went away completely. So now a much better noise floor and I'm back to kind of where I want it to be. Living in a cul-de-sac, you can't eliminate all of it, but we've got to try to reduce as much as we possibly can. So I hope you enjoyed this journey. I hope it helps you if you've got a problem in your shack that you're trying to track down and kind of walk you through some of the steps that I went through while troubleshooting this. I hope you enjoyed today's video and we will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.